Welcome to Widows and Fly Fishing. I decided what to tie today and the choice felt on uh, a devil bug. It's this kind of critter. I'm gonna show you. This fly is little hatching caddis. Uh, it's very easy to tie but you, there's something you have to be careful to do to make this fly right. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna use only a few materials. I'm gonna use for the first, I use this kind of hook. You can always tie this in uh, smaller hooks. I chosen the 12 uh, because of the video and because of, well, that's what I like. Uh, the second material is deer hair, like this. Try to find a patch with a relative long hair. And I'm gonna use this kind of dubbing, super fine. I used the uh, brown olive one, that's a pre of choice. I've seen this fly tied with a lot of colors uh, orange, red whatever but I'm gonna try to stick to the natural so um, well uh, other kind of equipment I use is this hair stacker that's a very important to use hair stacker it makes a good result uh, I'm gonna use this uh, tread simple fly tread brown 80 in uh, waxed type yes and of course some whip finish too. Free of choice and a scissor. Well, and uh, why I'm tying on today is the Stonefall Transformer. Well, as you see, I placed the hook in vice. Uh, start with attach my thread and make a thread base just to make the hair stay on top a little better snip off and I'm gonna wind my thread almost back to the hook eye but not quite I leave some space here for the end then I'm gonna cut off a little piece of deer hair I, th I thought this is uh, time to say there is uh, less is more just take out a little clump not very much, I try to show you. Snip up of the hair close to the skin to get the most length of it. I think this clump is about uh, right because you're gonna double it over. Take off the fluff. There are always some fluff in, uh, in the base of the hairs on the hair. And now you're gonna stack it to take out the shorter hair. To make a good result, it's uh, nice to have all the hairs in the same length. Don't use it on your fine coffee table. Your wife get angry on it. I have an old table, so that's okay. Well, I stacked it. You see now it's short hair is coming up. Take it out. Leave this little tool, put it aside. Take your thumb and pointing finger on the ends there to peel out the shorter shear. There's someone in the middle who try to get it out. It's not way always so easy, but uh, I think I got most of it out and just for the fun of it I take a scissor and just snip off so all the ends is the same length okay now I'm gonna measure out put it on the top of the hook and measure out how long I want the tail that's about right you can use a longer tail if you have a longer hair but uh, I have to take 
consider what I have and uh, use what I got. Okay, place it on top. Use the pinch method to attach a thread and hold on to the tips and wind back, back, back to the end of the hook, hook point. I mean. So I've trapped a little here just to get it out. Have to have a firm grip, but don't pull on too hard because you break your thread, or uh, sorry, or your hair, like that. You see now the tail is pointing backwards. I have all this stuff here, and I take with my fingers, collect all the hairs. place it on top and attach it by three or four wraps I think like that okay take out some dubbing use the brown olive one take out them a little more than I need for the first so I don't use too much time place it on the top of my vise and uh, just dub it on the thread so squeeze out collect your hairs again and dub your body over you see now, I trapped a lot of hair. And inside those hair, there's air. And that makes the fly float especially, especially good. You can always use foam for this fly. I see a lot of guys who use that, but I want to use this uh, method with the only uh, natural materials. Because I know there's guys out there who only use natural materials, so why not? Wrap over, wrap over, wrap over, wrap over. And there you are, right on the hook eye. Now you're gonna collect this little bunch of hair and try to collect all your hairs. In the hand, make a pinch attachment on the front here, some wrappings like that. Don't pull on too hard because you cut your hair. And now you see that I collect all my hairs, pull them back, and now I'm gonna use the whip finish knot to end this fly. Some wraps. Take out my whip finisher or whip finish by hand, that's free of choice. Like that. You see? Three or four nice whip finish. And voila. And if you're a tidy guy like I am, you collect the hairs, just make a little hairdresser job on it, like that. Okay, I see there is a little straggler here. Take it out, pull it out. Very easy. Okay, you see this is a fast tie, very fast tie, but you can, if you want, this fly is very easy to tie, but it's not so very solid, you can, if you want, attach some layers of lacquer on top of this to make it stay a little, stay a little better together. Uh, but I think this is a very nice fishing fly because 
is fast tie, few materials, floats very good, and catch a lot of trouts. Uh, the originator of this pattern, I think it is Gary Borger. I'm not sure, but uh, in his book there was uh, this pattern. I think he's an uh, originator, but that I could be, I could be wrong. So, uh, well, it's a very nice tie, very nice fly, catch a lot of trout. Uh, I use this fly on summer evenings uh, with little wind. Uh, where is flat water? It's just, I think uh, I use this for merely still water fishing, but uh, I've seen other guys uh, fish it in or, or in the river, but uh, it flows better in still water. So that's for all for now, folks, and I'll use the opportunity to thank you all for watching my videos. Uh, I uh, uh, I would uh, like to have you uh, comment on my video, uh, what's good, what's bad, uh, so I can uh, improve myself. And uh, well, subscribe to my channel and uh, you get all, always the latest videos. Yeah. Well, that's all for now. Bye. Have a nice fishing summer. Mm -hmm.